so many of my clients ask me, Joey, how do I become a better player today? Returning the serve with spin is one of the most effective ways to become a better pickleball player immediately. Pickleball lovers, please leave your comments, please subscribe, and don't forget to make your opponents feel like they're in a tornado. <laughs> the spin return in pickleball can be an extremely effective shot. It stays low, it penetrates through the court, and it causes your opponents to miss. However, there are three things people do wrong. Number one, they keep their shoulders open when they hit it. So this pops the ball up, number one, and lots of times it can go right and you will miss. So to avoid this, step with that right leg, if you're right-handed, to close those shoulders. And as you come through, you're gonna be moving forward and it's gonna stay lower. It really will. I'm in the top left-hand corner. I step with that right foot. I close my shoulders and then I get through the ball, moving to the kitchen. If you hit this when you're moving forward, it's gonna stay lower. It's gonna penetrate better and you're gonna get to the kitchen quicker. It's physics, people. Number two, they use too much wrist instead of shoulder. If it's too wristy, it's not gonna be consistent and it's gonna cause a lot of errors. So don't use that wrist. Lock that wrist in place and really have a nice full motion with the shoulders. This is Martin Napotovich playing Ben Johns. He's in the top right hand corner and he hits a beautiful slice. So he locks that wrist. He does something weirder then. Mark does weird things to guide the ball. I wouldn't recommend that, but lock that wrist and swing with the shoulder. Number three, that too choppy. That wrist is locked, but that's still choppy. Choppy motions are not consistent. Nice full motion, step with that right leg and really get through it and you should be moving through the court to the kitchen after hitting this shot. This is Ben Johns and look, it's a full motion. It's not choppy. The full motion will build consistency. A number of people have asked, Joey, how do I handle this slice? Because it's causing me so much trouble. So this is how you handle a slice return. Please subscribe, I'll keep getting better. When they cut under the slice with that backhand, which way is it gonna bounce? I'll make it simple. So they cut under with that backhand and see how that pulling away and the ball is gonna bounce that way. This is a good illustration. Mark hits it on his left hand side and it bounces to the left. I'll put that in slow motion, you can see. Also, why did Simone drive that? Mark hits such a deep penetrating slice, it really goes low through the court and she wanted to drive that. Now this one didn't penetrate as much through the court and Ben Johns hits a beautiful drop, but notice he's accelerating through that drop. Do not be hesitant, be direct, be firm. This is a slightly different example. Ben Johns has a backhand slice return and Mark slices it back. But when he sliced it back, take a look, this is slow motion. He's not accelerating super hard through that slice. He's almost pushing through it. By doing this, he's keeping all Ben Johns spin on the ball and it makes Simona hit a very difficult shot. Take a look one more time. Do not accelerate too much through a slice return if you're slicing it back. Almost push it. Do not cut through that ball too hard. If they hit it on that forehand, it's the complete opposite. They cut under it and they're pulling away. Since they're pulling away, they're putting spin this way on the ball, that way. <laughs> and the ball is going to bounce that way. It's going to stay low. So I recommend maybe drive the ball 60% if you return in that. Here is a good example. Ben John slices a forehand return and he hits it on his right side. Since he did that, it's going to kick to Ben John's right or Mark's left. Since the ball kicks so much, Mark hits a pretty poor third shot drop. Simone takes advantage. The reason I'm doing this segment is if you know which way the ball's gonna bounce, you can set up and you can be ready. So if the slice is coming really hard and really fast, I recommend driving at 60, 70%. If it sits up a little, I recommend doing a forehand drop, but keep accelerating through it or a push slice. Pickleball lovers, do you agree with me? Please leave your comments, please subscribe. And don't forget, here at the Pickleball Pirates, we may love pickleball just as much as you do. I know it's tough to believe, but it's true.